Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. Um, this knife is a, a Jeff Isgrove folder. Not only a folder, it's his first folder. Uh, it's his prototype. Uh, you might remember Jeff, he made me this uh, fixed blade, the Orca Model 2. Um, Jeff basically makes uh, fixed blade knives and this is a small model he made for me. This is a chisel ground. Uh, Jeff is from uh, Friendsville, Tennessee. You see it over there? He makes a mean, mean, mean satin finish. And this sucker's sharp. So I got friendly with Jeff. I started talking to him. And I said, hey, man, any plans to make a folder? He goes, yeah, I got some scrap material laying around. Let me, let me try to make one for you. So not for me. Let's try to make one. So this is what he came up with. He had some uh, carbon, um, marbled, marbled carbon fiber laying around and some... Um, silver twill right so he figured yeah you know what I'll make a folder and uh, he's been giving updates on his Instagram account his Instagram account account is JPI knives on Instagram uh, and if you follow him uh, you might have seen the whips on this so um, yeah so this is his first fold let's check it out uh, for, uh, let me show you the thumb stud so the thumb stud is raindrop Damascus which was just laying around <laughs> so so this knife was uh, made with the scraps that he had you know from his workbench the he said that this uh, thumb stud he calls it a saddle stud you see there it kind of like sits there like a saddle he notched it for your thumb so when your thumb sits on that now this is all experimental this could all change but he did this and you know what it works pretty good uh, no need for jimping on it because when you open it, your your thumb sits right there, pushes up, opens it up. I'll get you a better look at that raindrop Damascus. I thought that was pretty innovative. I'm I'm sure other guys do that. I've, I haven't seen it. I don't have any knives that have that. Most of them, you know, they're just like basically knurled, uh, jimped over there, and uh, they're thicker. But I kind of like that. I kind of dig that. Take take a look at this blade. Are you kidding me? He calls this like an upswept Tonto blade. Um, he put a light stone wash or maybe even a bead blast. He said it was a light stone wash on the main grind and then he left it satin on the flats. This is a beautiful knife. One thing that Jeff does, he can, he can make and grind a nice, nice blade. Go check him out on Instagram and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I, w I, I didn't expect any less from Jeff when he made his folder. Um, the silver twill and the marble carbon fiber are seamless. I mean, I'm not kidding you guys. And I'm bringing this to Weenus and Steel tomorrow. It is seamless. You can't even feel where it ends and begins. Seamless. The pocket clip is titanium. You also made that. Very nice. Lockup is very early. The blade steel CPM 154. Now, Jeff is a true custom knife maker. By that, I mean when he works on your knife, he's only working on your knife and he's going to make it to your specs, right? He's working on something for me and I basically want something like this um, one under, but I'm gonna change the steel and the handle material. And I think he's gonna make it smaller. He's making, now this was his first one, so there's plans to make a smaller folder. This is a huge, huge knife. I don't know if you guys can tell again, but I'll do some comparison shots in a bit. Just th take a look at the stock of the blade. That is very thick stock. No jimping. Um, again, he could do that. If you want jumping on it, he didn't, but it actually feels pretty good with this uh, handle, uh, the grip over here kind of like locks your fingers in. You know, you can even put your thumb on the saddle stud there and it sits pretty good. But, uh, very nice. No jump. I kind of, I kind of like that. No jumping. I'm trying to convince him to make a flipper. But, uh, I just wanted to do some macros for you guys. Now, he told me that this is the, he's not too fond with working with car, uh, carbon, uh, marble carbon fiber. And the guys that have carbon, uh, God, I can't say that. Marble carbon fiber, you know there's always uh, 
it's always got inclusions in it. Uh, he told me, uh, he apologized to me saying that, that, you know, I mean, he could have definitely filled the voids up, but I said, I, dude, I don't care. <laughs> Everyone knows marble, uh, marble carbon fibers crap. Uh, and if you look at his Instagram, he usually works with like exotic wood materials, uh, titanium, uh, um, mokum, mokume like this, this fixed blade. So being this is a, basically his prototype, I might throw in some kind of mokum on the bolster. Maybe even a wood handle. I'm not really sure. See the pin work? He does all this. Um, again, he went with this upswept uh, tanto shaped blade. Let's take a look at that blade. Just beautiful. I mean, that, that, that light stone wash on the blade is perfection. And the satin. The sideways satins that uh, Lee loves. He's going to check this out tomorrow. Just gorgeous. Titanium liners. Oh, G10 backspacer. But look how thick the titanium liners are. That's thick. So it is a liner lock, as you guys see. But the work is just, oh my God, it's just, see, it's perfect. The, for a first folder, amazing. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, let me show you the detent. Hey, you already did that on Instagram, but the detent... Oh, I can't even do it slow, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty sweet. Uh, he didn't carbonize the the lock, but you know what? I guess can hear that. There's no stick whatsoever. None. He actually told me he wants to work that liner lock uh, a little more towards the center. He feels better doing it at fifty percent. I told him, "Why not? Why the lockup is fine." Ain't going nowhere. I'm pressing up on it. But uh, no carbonization. It's very smooth. Just gorgeous. Yeah, overall length is nine and a half inches. The blade is about four inches. Um, the steel is three sixteenths thick. Let's see. He gave me a lot of information. The titanium liners are 0.63, which means Greek to me. But I want to do some comparison shots for you guys. Hopefully it's not too bright. All right, so there's Jeff's knife. Let's see, what do we got here? Here's Ramon's Redemption. What else? Here's the whole back um, mid-tech, way back. Just to give you guys an idea. Let me see if I can get, yeah, get a better idea of the size difference there. Again, he does have plans to make a smaller folder. But not bad. Not bad for his first time out. Yeah, what else? Am I forgetting something? Carbon marble, marble fiber. The Damascus thumb stud. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Look how thick that blade is. I, and I, you guys know I got medium sized hands, so picture if you got larger hands, how this would fit in your hand. Pretty, pretty sweet. Um, so I'll put Jeff's information below. This is one of the knives that the wieners are checking out. As you saw in the last Wieners and Steel, we welcome people to send, her, send us their work and we'll definitely check it out and uh, do a review on it and showcase it for you guys. So I'll put all of Jeff's info below. Again, this is The One Under by Jeff Escrow, JPI Knives. All right, guys, peace.